I thought to myself, am I going to film this Q&A? Am I going to get out a tripod, go to the place that I would want to record and film that, set it up and do the thing? No, no, no. For various reasons, I am not going to film this. Unfortunately, it's mostly just because I don't feel comfortable appearing on camera right now. Maybe, maybe in the future. So let's go. Spec Jones asks, "Is there really a dog?" I don't. I don't know what you're asking, but dogs exist, and I do like them. Issei Hyodo says, "I guess the anime character from DD says, what, if any, are your current plans for future content? How did the production process for Haruhi Abridged go?" So my current plans for future content are gonna finish big order made shorter written by sevian i need to finish that one then after that we'll see i do have plans i'm just not sharing them right now how did the production process for haruhi abridged go well it all started like halloween ish october 2015 and one of my videos had just been taken down for copyright i believe it was chaos head abridged episode 9 and it really bummed me out. What I wanted to do at that moment, before before that, what I wanted to do that day, I believe, was edit uh, the Humanity Has Declined abridged one-shot video. But, like, I was so bummed that Chaos Had Abridged Episode 9 had been blocked, since it was one of my favorite videos that I'd ever made at the time, and still kind of is. I just I just felt myself with, like, a dearth of creative energies well, not creative energies just sort of like motivation like just sort of like if this is how it's gonna be then fuck this and you know when you have the sort of brain worms that i got being demotivated can seriously slump the ability for me to work so then i decided i would abridge all of haruhi and then upload it daily in december and end on the movie because it was vaguely Christmas themed, so I would have to make it 25 videos. And that was the productive thing I did that day, was decide to do that. That didn't really answer your question, but I think I answered, I think I went on long enough. So I, I feel satisfied with my answer, even though I basically just scratched the sur Like, I told you, like... The inciting incident, not anything about the production, so you're welcome. M asks, who is better, Fire Leopard, DS3, or the doll from Bloodborne? Uh, I don't know what you mean. I don't know any of that. Is DS3 Dark Souls 3? Who is the Fire Leopard? I've never played these games. What's your favorite anime? Same person asking. Uh, the Monogatari series. How does Killer Queen Bites the Dusto work? I I can only tell you how King Crimson works. What other series are you planning to abridge? Big order. Would Patrick's stand be stronger than SpongeBob's if they had stands? Yes. Will they ever continue animating Haruhi? Yeah, I mean, they've still animated more Haruhi. It's all for pachinko machines to facilitate people you know, gambling, but yes, I believe more of that will get made. Haruhi Nagato or Mikuru? Question mark. That's not a question. Could Doug Dimodome beat Sora from Kingdom Hearts in a children's card game? Well, children's card games have a lot of luck involved, so I think, you know, sure. I mean, Sora has practice with card games. Have you ever played Kingdom Hearts 1.5? Who is best JoJo? JoJo. What is the best JoJo opening? The first one. In Calculus, is deriving or integrating more enjoyable? Uh, there is no part of Calculus that is enjoyable. Why did you start abridging? Anime. I'm going to skip that because, because there's only one more in this comment. Last one. Did Griffith do everything right? Fuck you. Uh, I've never actually read or watched Berserk, though. So, why did you start abridging anime? Yes, it was 2012. I was, you know, Speed Chuck, my partner in crime, a.k.a. Kyle Adams. Um, this guy. 
cousin of mine. We had been doing filmic things with like the handy cam and uploading them to YouTube, doing fun little videos. And we both were fans of abridged stuff, like Yu Gi Oh! the abridged series at all. And we noticed, I noticed a trend. We all noticed the trend. Everyone knows the trend where like it is very common for abridgers to go on like long hiatuses and stuff and like lose motivation. And stop working and it's just like, oh, when's the next episode? When's the next episode? You know, whatever. At the time, I was very flippant about this. You know, since then, you know, I've I've felt what burnout is. Or at the very least, I've felt executive dysfunction, which can cause something akin to burnout. And it's pervasive and you live in it and you love it and you hate it. You don't love it. There's no love there. But anyways, the question I was pondering was, is a bridging actually difficult? And if, you know, if not, shouldn't I be able to keep it up regularly? You know, so I abridged Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, uh, all of it in like, a year's time the first 14 episodes we finished that week they were all like one to three minutes long and you know low low amateur quality stuff but we were satisfied and it was fun and it sort of answered my question for me it's like no it's not inherently difficult to do like it's not harder than what making an anime would be, you know, as far as content to make, it's got to be one of the easier ones. If you're thinking about like all forms of content, you know, making an animated video of the same length would certainly take more man hours. I'd, I'd assume. So yeah. And the rest is history. Blah, blah, blah. Dishy lemon asks, how you doing? How you feeling? How's that heart treating you? Uh, I'm doing poorly. I'm feeling bad. And my heart uh, seems to not be at its best. But, you know, that's life. Idle Z asks, What does your editing workflow look like? What software and techniques do you use when making a bridge series, music, etc.? Well, I edit my video almost entirely in After Effects. And I use Audacity to go through lines that people sent me and that I've recorded and to compress the audio a little bit. I'm actually not very good at my job. Uh, I don't really consider it to be a job, really, because it doesn't pay enough and I'm not compelled to do it. Uh, yeah, and I, I don't do it enough. I don't know. I, I use After Effects instead of a real video editing software. I use, like, a nuke to hammer in a nail. But, you know, people tell me I should be using Premiere if I'm in the After Effects suite. And I'm just like, Premiere is, like, alien to me. It feels icky. You know, it, that feels like using a toothpick to hammer in a nail. Because abridging is, like, a very ex weird process. Like, it's not the same as other forms of video editing. It, it it has its own needs and stuff. And so I'll pivot to this question, which I've been saving. Shonen Ronin asks, asking for a friend, is there any way to edit lip flaps for a CG anime or techniques you know of that can be used for something that isn't traditional 2D, particularly... For a Karl Marx abridged series. Okay, I've looked at the Karl Marx abridged... I've looked at the Karl Marx anime. And what I've determined... There is almost no difference in how it does lip flaps... To how a regular anime... A, a regular as in like hand-drawn anime... Would do them. You can use the exact same techniques. Now, the techniques everyone else uses is... is, 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 is I will not even get into, because I hate them... Uh, I actually have like unearned an unearned sense of pride in my own lip flap techniques, and unfortunately, I'm not in a tutorializing mood, so I'm not gonna like get strictly into it. But I don't know if, if 
Maybe, maybe I should stream it at some point. But yeah, I, I edit entirely in After Effects, and I think the way I do lip flaps is pretty damn streamlined as compared to what I hear like the major players do. And you know, I would love I would love to just fucking whip out my ego and just just try to like systematically narcissistically explain why I'm objectively the best at it. But I also don't have the energy to like even open After Effects right now, much less OBS. So I'm just gonna not. I'm I'm just gonna not. Bacon side asks, how much of serious slump is based off personal experience, and are you holding up okay? I'm holding up as well as I, I was at the time. Is it how much is based off personal experience? That's a good question. Some of it is directly personal experience, like. The main character's relationship with Jay is basically my relationship with someone in my life. And, like, the thing the thing that Jay is talking about, like, that the main character agreed to edit, it literally is Big Order Made Shorter. So that's completely true. The stepsister character is not reflective of, like, any familial person in my life. But they are sort of... My friendship with, like, the the voice actor for that character is... Part of that is sort of represented in how I wrote that character. And so there's that. And then the main character getting the girlfriend via Twitter. That That is very much what actually happened. Except the girlfriend does not reflect my partner... The girlfriend is sort of also me, or like the idealized version of me. Like both sides of this are kind of me. Uh, the girlfriend is played by my partner, but I don't know. My partner ex like <laughs> summed it up best when they said, we both sort of wish we were her. <sighs> so there is that. And now I don't see D Dusty. Dusty, where is your comment? YouTube is not showing me. Nine comments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's okay, Dusty. I don't know if you deleted it. I don't give a shit. It's going in. I read it. It's going in. I don't see it. I did take a screenshot of it. Ah, oh, fuck. My screenshot. My screenshot didn't click read more. <laughs> there was so much more to this fucking question. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, maybe I have a screenshot of it on my phone. Well, it's not on my phone. I'll go to a second way of displaying comments and just scroll down until I find it. There it is! Okay. Dusty Socks asks, Is there someone out there that you would choose fuck, marry, and kill on all at once if they were an option? No! What? Marry and kill someone? Why? What are you doing in 20 years in the past? Probably becoming a Christian, because I am 23, and I came to Christ when I was three. I, I've since become an atheist. How? This is not in response to the last question. This is a standalone question. So... What do you think your favorite music genre will be five years from now? Whatever Vaporwave has become. Or whatever Vaporwave becomes. What has changed for you in the question, Why do I abridge? From when you started abridging to where you are now. Well, why I started abridging was to prove to myself and the world that abridging is easy and the people who are complaining about it being hard and going on these hiatuses are full of shit and should do better. Whew! That's not at all appropriate and I don't stand by it at all. But now my answer is sort of just like proving to myself and the world that abridging as a concept 
is way more cool and nuanced and has a lot more potential for experimentation than anyone in the abridging scene really thinks or knows or has tried to do. Whew, that is still not that appropriate. Wow, I'm competitive. Anyways. What's your favorite arbitrary tweet of today? Hee <laughs> hee, self-plug. Uh, the one labeled hello, where you just hold up a stuffed duck. That one was good. Want to play the Webopoly equivalent of Catan at some point in time? Yes, immediately. Let's do it. Baron Beat asks... Next slime abridged, when is it? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs>